it was a good game. So might be argued to for the games to count matter again, the intensity to go up now. Uh, it's always fun to get out there, no matter whether it's preseason or regular season. Um, obviously, it counts a little more now. Versus, and we'll do different things versus them. So, uh, it'll be a good experience, uh, especially early on for, for, for the young guys to be in uh, different roles. Some of them will have more of a role, some of them will have maybe less, but to uh, you know, really just get out there and have an opportunity to play, it really counts. Some of you guys were talking to a victim the other night saying, okay, rookie, the intensity is going up now. Have you tried to tell him that you know, nah, it's a different ballgame? No, nah, I haven't told him that, but. Uh, You'll see. I mean, um, teams that key on you and, and know your tendencies, and uh, they don't want to show you everything in the preseason. Just like we didn't show it uh, too much in the preseason. Uh, teams don't show too much of their team other than their base defense and their base offense. So, uh, you know, he's learning and, and he's a smart kid and wants to be good, so he'll figure it out. You set out the uh, final three games not because you were injured, just because of the rest and the other guys. Time to play. Are you? Do you have any rust that needs to be knocked off, or do you ready to have any rust? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. In other words, I didn't. I didn't phrase my I question. Well. Yeah. No, it's just. I mean, it's basketball, and uh, over the next couple of days, I'll, I'll get my timing back. That, that comes with um, the most important thing was during those, during those uh, rest days that I had. I was continuing to uh, keep my conditioning up, and probably even uh, more so than some of the guys that were playing. And I was able to do some things, um, you know, off the court in terms of my conditioning and my strength training uh, to help out a little better. Uh, you know, for the basketball part, I think, you know, that's, that's easier than the conditioning part. On Tuesday, you'll be starting your, your 10th season For real? in the NBA. Is that is it surreal to think back and this will be 10 years already? That's crazy. You got a lot of gray hair, too. <laughs> yeah. Which I didn't have. <laughs> you you didn't have 10 years ago. <laughs> um, nah, it, it's, it's a little... It's a blessing, man, you know, to be able to, uh, to do the things I've done so far in my career and, and being a great organization and uh, being embraced by the city of Orlando and the, and the fans and uh, even the media. I mean, you guys have been great to me. Uh, hopefully we'll continue to, uh, to work together for the next uh, X amount of years and, and uh, we all see this thing turn around. Does it feel long? Does it feel like it went quick? I mean, how it, does it, it does. It does. Now that I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm involved, I'm, I can't, you know, dwell on the past and look back on things, but... Once you start hearing people say this is your tenth year and uh, you play this amount of games and this and that, you're like, wow, that, that's it's going by fast. You know, start talking to you know my college teammates and my college coaches. And I was just in college. Aaron was just saying you know, he understands where this rebuilding process is, but he's trying to preach to the guys. He expects progress every day and he to make steps. And losing can't ever be accepted. No. Is that kind of a message that you? It's definitely, it's definitely a great message that, that he delivers. We, we all try to deliver it as freshmen. Uh, try to try to install and instill some of the things that we know um, in terms of how to win, how to be professional to some of the younger guys. Um, you know, even when you lose, you can take something positive out of it, but you also know that losing isn't acceptable. You know, nobody wants to lose, but um, if you lose, it's, it's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's a learning process for everybody. You know, and, um, you know, we're here, we're doing this together, and, you know, and, uh, you know, it's the process. You start right off with one of the best teams in the league with Indiana on Tuesday. What makes this Pacers team so? Um, very physical. Um, their style of play is, is you know, to really kind of exploit your, the, the mismatches that they have created with their size and their, their, their ability to play side, pick, and roll. You know, they, they do well on defense. Um, overall, that, that's their the key for them. Length bothers people out. Well. And um, you know, they have a great coach. Victor said he's going to see a lot of those candy striped pants and the suits. Isn't that yeah. kind of a silly look, those uniforms? <laughs> uh, I take the fifth on that. <laughs>